<laughs> Hi, everybody. I never know when this thing actually starts. It, like, spins forever, and I suspect that it's actually filming before I think it's filming. So I just have to sit here and make silly faces. That's why I'm always dancing at the beginning of these things, because I just don't know <laughs> at what point you actually can see. Happy Friday. Um, Friday. Guess what I'm wearing? I finished something. Okay, I have to scoot the chair back. <laughs> I forgot if I'm sitting now. My my uh, monitor is really low. I finished my love note, and I got my little um, sleeveless dress that has pockets on it. With my friend Christy sent me the cutest card about dresses with pockets, and so um, yeah, I love it. I love how it turned out. I love the color. Let me scoot my chair back in. Um, I just everything about it. I hope this is working. I can't see a single thing. Um, <laughs> Facebook likes to keep it real, you know, keep us on our toes, um, keep us guessing as to whether it's actually working. <laughs> Patty loves my silly faces. Patty, I just sent you an email. I have all of your stuff ready to go now. Uh, thank you, Erica. It is, you know what, it's hot outside, but I'm in here in the air conditioning, so I don't mind that I'm wearing this. I am so happy with it. Julia gets all the credit for inspiring me to make this because she made an absolutely beautiful love note um, that she finished like a month ago. Yeah? Maybe two. Two months, maybe? Who knows? Time is, uh, time is fluid in pandemic season, apparently. Anyways, she came in. She showed it off. Everybody went gaga. Sarah went home with yarn. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Welcome here on time. Sorry, I keep bouncing the the yeah, um, laptop when I go to type. Sorry, guys. I need like um something to. It's not level. I need something to like keep it. It's like a shaky table at a restaurant. Hi, Diane. Thank you so much. Uh, and you're very welcome. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Sarah. Yes, I am wearing Love Note. Who asked? Michelle Harvey, yes, I am wearing Love Note. And just as a recap, I used Manos Fino, which is a fingering weight um, merino wool and silk blend that is just to die for. And Rowan Kid Silk Haze, which is a uh, brushed mohair that is mohair and silk. So a lot of silk in this sweater, a little bit of wool, a little bit of mohair. And it, the beauty of it is you hold the two yarns together and knit on a size. 10. Yeah, yeah. So it really does go fast. It goes very fast. Um, and my colors were amethyst earring and dewberry, I believe. Amethyst earring is the pheno color for sure. And I the kids case was a light purple. Um, I think it's called dewberry. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, you do, Patty. This is like, I, I actually could be, I could be persuaded to make this again. You are making, yeah, that's right, your green one. Julia's making it again. And I basically do whatever Julia does, so I think it's settled. I'm making it again. Um, now that I'm going to have that dress that I'm going to wear for 100 days, and this looks so great over a black dress, I think I should have another one in a different color combo. Um, ooh, this time I should start with the Farmer's Daughter, Mighty Mo. Pick my favorite one of those. And then choose my solid, my uh, finger. Julia's picking already. <laughs> She's already on it. Where's my mask? This is so funny. She's already got her hands in the yarn. Um, I'll do that because we just got a bunch of colors of the Farmer's Daughter Mighty Mo in stock. And there are beautiful colors. And so um, I think that would be great. I'm, I kept. I, I keep looking at it like you guys can see it. It's over there. Um, I already have an idea of which one I like. And then I'll pick my my fingering weight to go with it. It's just so fun and easy to make. It's a great win. If you need a win right now, and who does not need a win right now, make a love note. You can make it makes you can make them in every range of sizes. They look good on every single body we have ever seen one try one on. We have the size smaller than this in our store. This is the 48. And um, I've seen people larger than me and smaller than me all try that on. 
And while that's not the size that they might end up deciding to make, it you still can try it on and get a picture for what what you if you like it or not. Everyone always likes it, and then choose accordingly. So, um, which is what I did. I knew I wanted a little more room to wear it over stuff, and so um, that's why I went with the forty eight. Anyways, do it. Love note. Plus, tin can knits. They're the greatest people. They are so lovely, and they make such great patterns. And I have to tell you this from the beginning of their existence as a as a design group they have sent patterns to shops for free so that we could make samples if we wanted to and they basically started a list and then it got to be where every time they published something they would send it to um, yarn shops and that is so generous that is absolutely so generous so I like promoting Tim Kennets anyway so ha ha hi 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 um, so yep that's love note uh, now let's talk about the new knit along that we are throwing together just like that uh, out of Barocco Lanas, the brand new yarn from Barocco that is 100% wool, non-super wash in amazing, 48 amazing colors. And uh, so Beverly, I don't know if Beverly's on yet, but Beverly um, is my sales rep for Barocco and I love her. She and I get along great. And so she and I just decided after I was talking about Lana's on our video last week, she said, I'll make something with you. And I was like, we're doing it. So we found a pattern and we're gonna make a color worked cardigan by Mary Jane Mucklestone and it is steaked. So I've steaked one time I don't think it went that great. I mean, the sweater's fine. It's over here somewhere. And it's certainly wearable, but I didn't feel like I learned a lot from it. And I didn't feel like it had super clear instructions on how to steak properly and finish off your stuff. There's Beverly. Hello. I did pull your colors, Beverly. So I'm going to show everybody your colors too. Hola, Patricia. Oh my gosh. Hace tanto tiempo. Oh, so my, my great friend Patricia from grad school is on the video. Oh my goodness. That's a throwback. She and I met down in Tucson. Hey, oh, miss your face. Um, I'm looking at her name like it's her. Uh, so uh, back to the uh, back to the cardigan. So um, I've got Beverly's colors here, and I've got my colors here. And I actually last night, in celebration of getting this on the blocking board, I started the ribbing um, to, of my sweater. So I'm working on away on that bottom band. Um, okay, so first let's talk about the pattern. The pattern is Jenny at the fair. And here is a picture. Isn't that fun, you guys? So we have a main color and four contrast colors. And there's Miss Cutie Pie, Mary Jane Mucklestone modeling her sweater. So it's got the uh, little bit of patterning on the bottom and then the sleeve. And then it's got a small motif that goes up the body. So super fun, main color and four contrast colors. I will probably make mine a smidge shorter because I'm um, I'm short and I'm short waisted both. So I will probably be condensing this section just a smidge here uh, to accommodate my lack. My, what I lack this way, I make up for this way. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Jenny at the fair. You can look that up. It's on Ravelry and um, so this is a real, real impromptu. Oh, and it comes in a, a good range of sizes up to 50 something. I think I'm going to do the 43 and a half. Um, this is a very, very casual knit along. This is the kind of knit along where you join if you want to and you start when you want to. And we check in in the videos to see how everyone's doing. And maybe we have a Zoom meetup where we all show our progress. And um, the other thing about this knit along is if you want to make a sweater out of Lana's, but you don't want to do Jenny at the fair, then you don't have to. You can find your own worsted weight sweater to do. So I know Patty's going to make um, Foxtrot, I believe, in Lana's. Uh, we just were sending that off to her right now. And then um, what else? Uh, who got, oh, was it Diane? Did you get the Lana's already? Anyways, I know people have already been getting Lana's. And so if you want to pick a different project and just generally join us for the Lana's knit along, then by all means, you are welcome. Uh, we do not discriminate against projects in this um, thrown together, super casual, super impromptu knit along. So um, think on that. Uh, one second. Okay. Colors. Let's talk about colors. So I'll show you mine first because I have it right here. 
And yes, Lori, you want a knit fox trot? It was just such a great sweater. My fox trot is actually, oh, it's too dark. It is right there. Boom. But you guys can't see that, I don't think, because it's dark. It's bright green. Bright. Okay. Oh, oh, look, there's a store elf <laughs> bringing fox trot up. There's my fox trot. I made it cropped and fitted. I loved that sweater. I mean, I do still. I just, <laughs> it's here I'm in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I loved knitting it, and I do love wearing it when I get the chance. I need to take it home so I can actually put it together in an outfit and wear it again. Um, and, oh, Diane, you do, that's right, you're getting Lana's for the Weekender, which would also be really great. Um, so, yeah, do Foxtrot, Lori. Join us, join us. Um, okay, back to colors. This is my main color. I think I said lake um, on Tuesday's video. It's Tide. Uh, Tide is the, the color, and the number is nine five one two two and then um i'm gonna hold this up with my four contrast colors there we are there we go so i've got this kind of yellowy limey i think it's called limelight this uh warm brown this very light mint and grapefruit right here so and then here's tide my main color so these are mine. Oh, Alexandra says, hi, Julia. Um, and so let me get that armful down here. And now I'm going to show you Beverly's colors. She sent them right before the video, so I was able to pull them off the shelf. So you can see another color option, another combo, and I love it. Okay, Beverly's using charcoal as her main color. Let's play this like a violin. And here are her contrast colors. So this is a very, very light misty blue. She's also got limelight. We have good taste because we both picked limelight. Uh, steel cut oats and plum something. It's a plum color. I don't know the actual. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I love this. Beverly, this is going to be awesome. Oh, there we go. There we get them all. Um, I cannot wait to see these start to develop. So um, yeah, you picked your colors around limelight. I kind of did too. I went right to it. Limelight and grapefruit. Um, bizarre combo but yeah so um, Beverly and I will communicate some more about our progress and what, how we could do that but maybe what we'll do is we'll schedule a zoom where we can all get together so if you think you want to get in on some Lana's fun with us just reply um, in a comment here on the video or shoot us an email to the customer service email customer service at notanotherhat.com and we'll put together a list of people so that we can send you a notification of, um, of a zoom meetup so that we can all talk about our projects and what we're gonna make so Julia just had an armful of love note combinations. I'm going to show you guys. Your yarn's coming today, Beverly? Oh, yeah, that would be so antsy. Um, okay, ready? For the, the yardage requirements, like, these are even, you know, if it's possible, yeah. you get them out of what's there. Yeah, That's so amazing. this, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so here's one. That, oh, this is gorgeous. This is um, Tosh. Is this Marina Light? This is Marina Light yeah. and Elizabeth Taylor. Isn't that perfect? And Mighty Mo in Fugitive. Those new colors of Mighty Mo oh, are so oh, gorgeous. Wow. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, good one. Oh my gosh. If you're a pink lover, oh, this the name of this is so great too. So this is Marina Light and Barbara Deserved Better and Prairie Smoke on the Tosh Mo Light. Or Mighty Mo, sorry. Farmer's Daughter Mighty Mo. So yes. many similar yes. names. I know. So many Mo's. I'm going to try to see if I can get... It wants to wash out that a little bit. And there's a little bit closer. Oh, that's a great combo. Mm -mm. This is what was in my head. <laughs> so this here's the Mighty Mo in Perma. And then Yvonne's. Uh, yakety yak, thank you. In grapefruit, and the this is this color is what I was thinking of earlier when I said I already had something in mind. Oh my god, that would be so gorgeous! Oh, and the yak would oh, oh that yarn is so yummy. Mm. This might go home with me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I have no business casting on another sweater. Um, no business, no business. 
But you know, that's the best part. I've got all the fibers in my mouth. Casting on is the best part. Um, have you guys been casting on anything? It's like in the heat. I don't know why. We get people in all the time that say, oh, I just don't knit in the summer. It's too hot. And for some reason, that's when I knit more because... I don't know, maybe because you don't want to get out and do stuff if it's too hot. I mean, we're talking like over 90 hot. And maybe because also summer falls right before fall when my mind starts thinking about all the fun things I'm going to make for fall and winter. And I always end up casting on a million projects in July. It came a little bit later this year um, It's because it's August tomorrow. <laughs> so um you sometimes have to cast on. You're correct, Kim. It's just uh, part of life. Plus, I think casting on kind of um, ignites the creative juices. So if you're stalled out and you're just feeling like everything's kind of like ho-hum and you don't want to work on all the things you have, but um, punishing yourself and not letting yourself cast on because you have those projects to work on to finish sometimes is serves the opposite purpose. And it just continues to just decrease your desire to do any of it and if you give yourself permission to cast on something new and fun as long as you as long as you commit that you're also going to go back and work on those other things sometimes that's the little like impetus you need to just get your excitement back and finish up those other things so don't don't be tempted to punish yourself when you have projects looming over you that you need to finish and restrict your your casting on new things you gotta free your knitting psyche a little bit and uh oftentimes that happens by casting something on putting something new on the needles <laughs> that's right knitting for all seasons that's right absolutely absolutely oh knitting on the beach i'd like to go to the beach oh okay guys well that's the fun for today um so think about it. If you want to join in and knit something in Lawn Us with us, we would love to have you. Uh, and if you want to knit Jenny at the fair, we'll talk about things related to that. We'll talk about two-color knitting and steaking when it's time, etc. And so I hope you can. It'd be lots of fun. Everybody have a great weekend, and I will see you again on Tuesday. Bye-bye.